Well, hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today for my video, I'm gonna be doing one of the Be Thankful For challenge prompts. And the prompt for today is animals. And for me, my pets are the animals that come immediately to mind and the things that they teach me about God's love for me and how I want to love God. So I'm going to show you how to color a bunch of different dogs and cats. And this download is available for you as a sketch in the description. If you want to know how to transfer them, what I'm going to do is I've got my image on vellum. You can do this also on tracing paper so that I can see where I'm placing them. And if you're trying to figure out how to see through to be able to place them in a certain spot, doing it onto the vellum is a good idea. You can print them out and then trace them yourself. And I'm going to practice them here in my Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook back in the empty section in the back. And I'm going to do a bunch of the animals. The reason that I did a bunch of animals is because not everybody's going to want to put my Vienna and Giallo in their Bible. So I wanted to be able to show you this page, but I didn't really want to make you do only my dogs. So there's lots of different dog shapes and cat shapes and you can try to customize one that will work for you. And I'll be practicing them here in the workbook and showing you one idea for how you can use the workbook yourself for your own meditation purposes as well as art purposes. I'm using Prismacolor pencils, and you can use any color pencils to do this. And I'm gonna color the dogs first before I put the heavy outlines on them. So you can see how nicely it worked to put the pencil on the back of the vellum so that I could just trace my pictures in there where I wanted them to be. The graphite that's on there ends up being really loose, so you may want to just be careful that you don't smoosh it all over. If you want to put a piece of paper over it with your, so that your hand is not kind of leaning on it, you can do that. And I'm putting the coloring of my dog in there first, all the shadows on the left hand side of the dog, and then putting my outlines on kind of at the end. Because what that allows me to do is refine the shape a little bit with the lighter colors that I'm putting inside the dog. And that way I'm not wedded to, oh my gosh, does that look like her back? Does the tail look right? That sort of thing. I can fuss around with lighter colors and change things if I need to and then firm up those lines once I kind of have my colored sketch in, in place. And with any one of these, if your dog is fatter, you know, it looks like it's kind of the shape, but your dog's fatter or your dog is that shape but has different ears, then just change the sketch in whatever way you need to to make it look like your animal if you're trying to put this in your Bible. Well, on this one, I decided to do the base color first and then the outlines and then add the shading. So you can also do that. Just be aware that sometimes your colors that you're coloring inside a black pencil line might end up being dragged in there by the color itself. So I don't mind having some of that black pulled in by brown, but I would have a problem with the black being pulled into the yellow. So this at least helps me to keep it contained if I'm only doing the brown color after the black pencil is there. You can also use a pen, but I find that a pencil is a little easier and a little less frightening to do the coloring with and to, to do the line work especially, because you're not sort of stuck with just one line and trying to keep it the same weight and that sort of thing. Pencil lets you be a little bit sketchy. I'll jump over here and do two of the kitties and I'm gonna color them to look like mine. So I have one kitty that has his whole back is kind of a mixed gray and brown, lots of different fur colors. So I'm just gonna layer the two colors over top of each other and keep it simple. Don't worry about trying to make every spot match your pet exactly because you know what pet it is when you draw it in your Bible especially. And then I'll add the black lines around the outside. If your animal is fuzzier, then you can make your line on the outside a little sketchier. And if they're a little more shaped, then you might want to try to do a clearer, cleaner type of line. And don't forget whiskers on the kitty cats. You don't usually see whiskers on the dogs, but you can put them on them too. And then for my other kitty, 
She's a big fat black kitty and so I'm going to use a gray for the first layer of color and then I'm going to go over it with a black pencil and I'm going to do what's called negative coloring on the tail. So here I'm going to put gray over the whole thing and when I put the black on you'll see how the black is going to create the space around the tail instead of coloring the tail itself because her tail is black but in order to differentiate between her black body and the black tail I'm just going to choose to make one lighter and one darker so here you can see I'm going to create that that kind of tail shape and you can make the tail curve any different direction lots of different things whatever way you want I did forget to put her nose on but I will add her her nose in her snout in a few minutes because I forgot when I was doing the coloring here so while I'm doing the voiceover I remembered that that was one of the things I forgot to take care of so jump down here and start working on these other dogs these are not my dogs but I wanted to at least give you some other options so you can mix and match different ears different body shapes different tails whatever you need to make them look kind of like your critters and I'm snugging them all together so I decided which one was going to be in front which one in back of each other so they're kind of you know pushed up next to each other but you can also just have the whole body showing and in the sketch you'll have the whole bodies for each one of them and different pets have different amounts of like tubby fatness on them so you'll just have to adjust in the way that you want the noses you can make pink or black depending on whether your animal has pink or black nose that kind of thing so now kitty has a snout and I feel better because it's important for kitties to have snouts too so here I'm using a second brown to make the shadow stuff and I'm still doing the shadows on the left you can also do your shadows on the right it doesn't have to be on the left but I always recommend for people who are just getting used to drawing just pick one direction and always use that for your light source so that you just get really used to it until it becomes second nature and then you don't have to think about it very much so this little little tubby dog here I kind of decided to give him a really uh, chubby sausage shape so some dogs are going to really be a sausage type of shape and some of them will have their tail tucked under them some of them have it curled up some of them they lay their tail down you can customize these any old way that you decide you want to I'm gonna make this one a really dark brown dog so the base color is that dark brown and then the shadows on this one I'll make black and then I'm gonna have the tail just barely stick out underneath of the dog kind of curled underneath of his butt like he's sitting on top of it and then add my shadows and I'm not worried about muscles or anything on this and trying to make you know super crazy shapes I'm just trying to get that general shape so that you kind of know it's an animal sitting there looking up and here's another one and it's a fuzzy dog and you'll have to adjust the colors of course if you have a different color of fuzzy dog or multicolors but just use sketchy lines and look at the directions that your dog's fur goes and if their fur goes different kinds of directions then send your pencil in those kind of directions and I'm again doing negative coloring around the tail the same as I did on the kitty cat and then when I put my sketchy lines on there with a super fuzzy dog like this the lines can get super sketchy and just really loose don't worry about joining the edges or anything just let it be a sketchy kind of a line and I'm making this like a grayish poofy dog with black shadows here if you decide to use these sketches for anything I would love to see what you create with them and how you turn these dog and cat sketches into something that means something to you something that looks like your pets and I'd love to see you trading out the tails and the ears and whatever it takes to make them look like your critters because I'm a critter lover and I know many of you are as well so be sure to tag me on social media or send me an email I'd love to see what you're making so I decided to do some writing some journaling about what I've learned from my dogs about love both God's love for me and how I want to love as well because my pets look to me for everything they look to me 
to find out, is it time to go to the park? Is it time to get up? Is it time to go to bed? Is it time to eat? And I want to look to God for things the way that my dogs and my cats look to me. And so this is all one giant prayer of thanksgiving for all the things I've learned from my pets. So I also transferred it into my Bible using the same technique with pencil, added a little sky around them of yellow, and snugged them together a little closer so that they'd fit in that column in my Bible and added a little prayer at the bottom as well. So uh, this is done in Luke chapter 10, where Jesus is talking about loving God with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole soul, your whole everything. And that's what I want to be. I want to be someone who loves God that way. And I'm thankful that he sent my animals to teach me, at least give me a witness of how to do that, because I don't know how to do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you go out and make something beautiful in your Bible with your pets in it and all the things that you've learned from them. And I will see you guys again next week. Alrighty, take care. Bye-bye.